Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again for yet another insight. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a few minutes to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And for everybody else who has subscribed, thank you so much for your support. So today I'm following up on uh, digging into the Unreal Engine 4.26. Uh, one of the, the features that caught my eye <laughs> again is uh, this uh, hair and fur feature and feathers. So they did this meerkat demo, like as a short film. Weta and uh, Weta Digital and Epic Games partnered to create this for the, uh, I, I believe, for this release so they could uh, showcase. And so I wanted to dig into it. But first, let's take a quick look at. Uh, the short film itself. I'm not going to play the audio. I just want you to see how cool it is, even without sound. You know, the fact that this was rendered in the Unreal Engine is pretty impressive. You know, the shallow depth of field, the highlights, the lighting. This doesn't feel like a game engine. It feels like almost uh, like a path traced. And that's what um, excites me the most. <laughs> that to be able to create this level of detail and animation and lighting inside the unreal engine is mind mind blowing i mean look at that i mean the I, i'm so glad I'm, I'm, we are watching this without the audio because this is when you know how well you can tell a story that even without audio you can see the anticipation the danger Look at the global illumination. Yeah, isn't that amazing? And so I'm looking at the feathers on the on the eagle. I think it's an eagle and a hawk. But you can tell the detail, you know, the way the wings look. Uh, I'm just blown away. And definitely the fur on this little meerkat is very 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 impressive so when this came out I, I knew i wanted i was like man i wish we actually had the project to dissect and look into and guess what they've actually made it available for the unreal engine you can actually go to the marketplace and download it so i'm gonna see how big it is so let's go let's go through this together and see how long it takes so it's free for now so i'm gonna add it to my cut and go to the checkout so it's zero dollars Fortunately, <laughs> and so I'm excited about that because I've seen all I've seen the video. Now I wanted to actually go into the project and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out. Loading the order. Thank you, Epic Games. All right, now I can go to Unreal Engine, and uh, let's see if I can add it to a project. So I go to my library here. Uh, let me. I don't know if I need to refresh. Let's go back. All right, let's uh, do a search for Meerkat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, create the project. And let's see, where can I put it? All right, for now, we're just creating the default place. And just go ahead and create. Uh, let's see how long it takes. So, e, so it's 10 gigabytes. <laughs> so be prepared. Um, right now, it uh, seems to be going along pretty quick. Uh, but let me see how long it actually takes for, for the whole project to download. I hope it doesn't take a, a lot of time. So that's one gigabyte so far. Again, depending on how fast your connection is, it might take a long time or it might not take a long time. But while it's downloading, uh, let's go back and look at uh, the Meerkat demo here in the making of it. So the, this other, there's a video on here on the Unreal Engine uh, web, uh, YouTube channel that we you can take a look at they talk about the behind the scenes of how it was created so it was fun to see uh these uh, teams uh, actually like hollywood i suppose hollywood level caliber <laughs> high caliber uh company actually also diving into using uh, the unreal engine uh, it's exciting if uh weather digital can actually dig into using the unreal engine I think real time uh, rendering is definitely here to stay and it's going to be the norm for uh, creating short films and things like that as well as episodes. So I'm excited to dig in and look at uh, the far and in real time because I just don't want to see the video. Uh, and I mean, I've enjoyed the 
the actual video itself, but I want to see the project inside out to see how well all this is working, you know. And that's what, like, how long, how, how does it play back on my machine? <laughs> Can it play back on my machine or even like a standard machine? So let's go back and see how far we've gone. All right, about 6.2 gigabytes. All right. And so these are the, I mean, one of the features, of course, that is very impressive is uh, being able to add far in uh, Unreal has been a struggle uh, and also cloth simulation and hair simulation. Those things are kind of take a, a toll on your computer. Uh, but I think the implementation of GPU support uh, is going to help a lot. And so I can't wait to see how this is reacting. Um, the reason why I'm, I'm, allow, I'm letting this go through without uh, stopping and uh, to pause, I want us to, I want to give you a, a more realistic idea of like, when you get this project, how long is it going to take on your computer? If you have a slow com like connection, is it even going to, is it feasible <laughs> for you even to try to download it? I want to go through the whole process, uh, especially as us indie filmmakers, uh, if you don't see these things in real time, you're left wondering, you know, is this even going to work for me in my current situation? So let's see how well it does so we can dissect it and look at uh, the quality. So it's verifying. This is like a normal process for when you uh, impl uh, import uh, uh, an asset that you brought in from the marketplace into the library. It does take this process where it has to download and then verify. And then it will show up as one of the projects uh, that you can use. So it's creating the project now. And it's going to be, a, I believe, a 4.26 project. So the reason, again, I'm digging into this is there's a short film that I'm working on called They See You. Uh, it's uh, directed by Siobhan, a fellow Ugandan. Ugandan. And I'm, I'm harnessing the uh, Unreal Engine to create this short film uh, for her. And so the, as more features come up, I am definitely jumping on board to see how it can improve on my work process. And I'm also using it for the Nkosa and Nancha uh, animated TV series. And especially for the new characters that we're creating and the new environment. So I'll share more on that. But okay, the project has been uh, downloaded. It's, there it is. I almost missed it. All right, let's double click, click on it. And wait, let's see how long it takes to load. So I recently updated my machine. Uh, so my hard drive, the primary hard drive is an SSD uh, hard drive. And I've noticed that that has actually helped improve the time it takes to load my Unreal projects because there's no, there are no spinning parts. So it might be much quicker. See how long it took to load, uh, to go to from zero to 93%. So that is what I'm looking forward to, to see like, even uh, since I've, I've, I've updated my machine, I want to see how long it takes to load and here we go so this is the default scene when you load it up and so far i mean i can see the clouds which look very beautiful i'm glad i actually checked it out because i want to see how they did the blueprint for that those look really really beautiful so cool okay so let me see if there's a, a demo is it cinematics and content level there's a master level and the master sequence let's see if this one is that master sequence let's see do i need any new plugins no okay All right, so here's the sequence. Uh, this is on that the sequence side to see how it was all put together. Uh, but the fact that I'm able to, you know, ah, oh, okay. So is it, that's how what they did. <laughs> so when you're looking in the animation itself, when you're looking at it, you don't realize how much is hidden. Like, you know, it seems like it goes on forever. But when you actually look inside the project itself, you can see how the artistic approach they, they used. So you don't really need to create an, an entire environment all to the end of the world. You can just layer things around. So it's that's what the value of getting these projects so we can dissect and look and study the lighting, you know, where they put the cameras and things like that. So 
Uh, guys, I hope this was helpful in a way to show how long it took to load this. And I think I'll do another video just to just see how well this is working. And let me see if I can actually play it. Okay, there it goes. So now it's playing in real time. There's the little guy. Ah, this is so cool. To be able to see this in real time. So, you notice the motion blur and the far. There are the cameras. <laughs> this is really, really cool. And this is playing back in real time, guys. Not even uh, pre window. I can see the motion blur and it breaks. Oh no, the guy is coming to get me. Oh, I hear something. Who was that? <laughs> Anyway guys, so this was me just uh, a quick uh, digging to see how long this project would load if it would actually even play back in real time on my computer and clearly it is playing back in real time. I can't wait to dig in and look at how this is put together and hear more things but uh, as always guys let's continue to dare to dream big and uh, let's harness this, the Android engine to tell our stories. Please spend a minute to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are not when I share and, and upload a new video and man, I can't wait to uh, work with this uh, check out how what they've done and then also implement it on my own uh, animation and stuff. and I hope you get to do it as well dare to dream big as always but don't give up on your dream and please when you get a moment download this file and study it just like I'm doing I'm going to do my best to share as I make progress because there are a lot of things that they've done here creatively that are very 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 impressive so see you next time with another tutorial and insight and i can't say <laughs> enough how excited i am for 4.26 and any other update that's coming up with uh, the Android engine this is really really cool guys check it out this is playing in real real time thank you see you next time guys there bye for now